Okay, we should pivot. Okay, let's pivot. Because we wanted to cover a lot of a lot of ground. We should talk about what we're wearing. Speaking of fashion. Yeah, fashion. Yeah, that's right. These are, are our winter dichotities. And we'll put uh, some pictures up on top of the video, too, right, so you can see Right, because they're probably it. hard to see, especially mine is printed blue on green, which I think is very cute in person, but probably doesn't show up very well on the camera. Yeah. But yeah, and it looks great. Yeah. So what we did for this season is we took, we were looking at the map when we were in Queens last, mm -hmm. and we noticed that the neighborhood of Regal Park has a really interesting shape. And we were looking up why Regal Park looks the way it does. And it turns out that Regal Park looks the way it does because it was built by the Regal Construction Company yeah. in 19... I believe the 20s. 24, I want to say, for okay. some reason. Great. And Part we... of this information, by the way, and I excuse my interruption, was in, informed by one of our recent podcast guests, Patrick Weaver. Mm -hmm. He said... Go look up Rigo Park and do your own, you know, uh, research. And so that was kind of how we got started going down this rabbit hole. Yeah, I didn't realize that that was the case. That's right. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Yeah, you can check him out along with uh, JP, his partner, on our Greenwood Cemetery episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so Rigo Park was built by Rigo Construction Company and then... Rigo stands for real good. Yeah. Which we thought was so funny. And I, yeah, I would like to bring that into our language. The yeah. real, the Rigo for real good. And so what we did is we, um, these are a little more graphic and aesthetically designed than some of the other dichotities that are more like thought provoking and based on language and maybe hard to read. These are really easy to read. Mine is Rigo Flight, and it has the Rigo Park situated to look like wings. Yes. And then Mike. Yes, I have Rigo Sight. And this is, I mean, uh, this is what it actually looks like. It mm -hmm. looks like this in both instances, but it's not actually doubled up on the map. Right. We just chose to make it look like that on the shirt that Jesse wears. So it would look like wings. Yes. But uh, oriented this way, it kind of looks more like an eyeball. It also reminds me, for f people that are fans of the Zelda Breath of the Wild series, it kind of reminds me of some of the iconography that goes on there. And yeah, I mean, it, it was uh, just fun to kind of identify that in the map, you know, the Google Maps view of everything. And it... It is interesting to look at the city from that perspective, and there are a lot of shapes. I don't know if there are as many as compelling as this one, but there are a lot of shapes that arise uh, in the city, particularly in areas that are not Manhattan, because the Manhattan area is its grid, which is its own compelling mm -hmm. shape, but it, it doesn't kind of form that sort of imagination spark Kind of like when you're looking at a cloud. Yeah, I was just know? gonna say that. Yeah. Uh, so this was one that uh, sparked our imagination. Yeah, and it's nice because when we've walked through Rigo Park since noticing that, it's like we have a whole new appreciation and connection to that neighborhood. Yeah. And what just what Rigo is. Yeah. Yeah. And we will be selling these, much like we have sold the previous yeah. uh, dichotities. And we will have some uh, further information on that. Yeah, we'll probably do another little video or something, a post or something like that. And what we know we are going to do is, because it's winter, we wanted to get ourselves these sweatshirts to wear while we're walking and we went to one of our favorite places Udelco which is in Hawthorne New Jersey we've talked about it before it's this bulk vintage store where you know they collect like used items and dead stock items and you go in and it's just like a bunch of cardboard boxes stacked really high all labeled 
some are incorrectly labeled, some are correctly labeled. It's awesome. It's really fun. You go and you just like dig through stuff. And we went and dug through a bunch of their crew necks, sweatshirts, and pulled out colors that we liked and all sorts of different sizes. And we'll be printing on those. We might have some t-shirts available to print on too, but I think we might also just stick to the crew neck since it's winter and each one is really going to be unique and its own. Yeah. Yeah. Very Even much. Even more so than before. Like it already was that, but this, this collection is going to be really like each one is one of a kind. That's right. This is from the same trip we did when we picked up the hats for yeah. those that have seen the hat video that we put out. And thank you all for those that have made orders for the hats. Yeah. It's been really gratifying to get those. And uh, we still have a few more. So if you're interested, there's a video on that. We can throw a link onto that and you can get some while it's still cold. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Get them while it's hot, but while it's still cold. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if there's anything much more to say about this. You know, we are, I guess, expanding the idea of what a dichotomy is, as Jesse mentioned, and whereas previously it has been about the interplay of words being slightly different from each other, this is actually kind of still fits within that, but it's not phrasing. Right. Sight and flight are slight changes in the wording, right. but it's as much about how the design references each other as it is about the actual words. So Exactly. Yeah. Yeah.